Hello and welcome to Maker Hangar. My name is Lucas Weekly, and today we're going to be flying the Maker Trainer 2. So let's get started. First off, if you haven't seen the How to Fly episode from last season of Maker Hangar, go check that out now. All the information about flight sites, where to be on the field, and how to turn and fly around is all still relevant. There's just a few things that are different with the new Maker Trainer that we'll talk about today. So first we have to find a flying spot, and because the Maker Trainer 2 is so small, it can be flown pretty much anywhere. Also before we go flying, you're going to want to check the CG of your airplane. And this is going to be between 3 and a quarter and 3 and a half inches from the leading edge, or where the step is right next to the fuselage. You can move your battery around to get the proper CG and once you have, now you're ready to fly. So let's go fly. So I'm out here in my backyard. This is where my horse lives and this is big enough to fly the Maker Trainer 2. Now when you do your first flight, I recommend you have someone help you and the way that we throw the Maker Trainer is by grabbing one of the wings and we're going to kind of like give it a discus launch and you want to try to launch it as level as possible. But if this is your first time flying it, definitely have someone to help you so you have both hands on the controls. Anyway, I'm going to do that right now. We're going to give it about uh, three quarters to full throttle on takeoff and then the second that it leaves your hand just try to counter any roll that you may have put into it. And it's as simple as that. So definitely practice on how you're going to throw the airplane. Uh, you can also throw it by the center here but you have to have someone to help you with that one. So let's go fly. So like before, your first flight should be in a straight line so you can see where the plane is moving and counter all the movements and just see how it's reacting to your controls. So then you can trim it out later. Once you've gotten the general trims done because of your first flight, now you can start flying around and trimming out the rest of the airplane so it'll fly level. Also, when I was flying around, I noticed that my control authorities weren't really right for how I was flying. So I noticed that I needed more control in the ailerons, but I also needed more precision as well. So I bumped up the aileron dual rates to 60%, and also I bumped up the aileron expo to 50% from my settings that I gave you last episode. And I just left the elevator where it was before. Once I made all these changes to the trim and also the expo and dual rates, the plane flew great, as you can see here. So now let's do some flying. You're gonna cruise at about half throttle and just make your oval turns and try to have fun. It's very easy to fly. That's hands off. Going towards the tree a little bit. Once you're comfortable with flying around the Maker Trainer 2, it's time for some acrobatics. So you want to get pretty high up when you try to do a roll. I'm going to be coming at me when I do that. So here's a roll. There you go. Nice and simple. You just hold all the way on the aileron. As a wing over ish. So, if you have the aileron set at a higher rate, it's really easy to do rolls in, with this airplane. Okay, now I'm gonna get even higher and try a loop. With a loop, you wanna dip down, get some airspeed, then pull up and keep pulling up until you finish. You can also decrease the power at the top of the loop, which will help decrease this radius of it. So you can see how simple this airplane is to fly, and that's the point. But it's also a lot of fun. Uh, 
And then once you've had enough, you can bring it to the far end of the field. This maker trainer does not glide as far as the other one. And I'm gonna start decreasing my throttle, pulling back farther and farther on the elevator, and just let it descend. As you can see, the Maker Trainer 2 is a ton of fun to fly, and I plan on doing much more with it in the future, so keep an eye out for that. That's it for this season of Maker Hangar. I hope you enjoyed these two builds, and don't forget to post pictures and video of your tricopters and Maker Trainers on the Maker Hangar Google Plus community page. I can't wait to see your builds and modifications there. Also, if you have a question, I'm always active on that page. And if you want to see more videos by me, you can come to my channel here at Incoming RC. There'll be a link in the description. I already have some great videos posted up, so come and check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.